Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about a very debated or debatable um, topic with leopard geckos, which is can you cohab leopard geckos? Um, so I'm just going to be talking about the differences between which ones you can and which ones you can't and the risks that involve it. So first is a male and a male. A male and a male is a no, definitely, because the males are very territori territorial <laughs> and most of the time it does not end well and most of the time they end up one kills the other or they end up killing each other. So a male is definitely a risk that you don't want to take and the next one is a female and a male um no unless you are breeding if you're planning on breeding they probably shouldn't be together 24 7 all the time but you can put them together for like i don't know how long i don't breed so <laughs> um but if you're not there's still risks even if you're planning on breeding them because sometimes aggression takes place um but if you don't want baby geckos then no don't <laughs> but and then the next one is probably the most debatable one because it's a female and a female some people put a female and a female together and have no troubles at all and sometimes they end up being just as territorial territorial as the males are but if it was me it's not a risk that I would be willing to take just because I'm overprotective <laughs> but um if you but if you're going to keep two adult females together the thing is is the price you're gonna have to have double the hides um because you can't just have three hides in there because then they would have to share the warm hide and that would not end well um so you're gonna need like two cold hides two warm hides and two moist hides which then you would probably need a much bigger tank so then that would probably bring the cost up rather than just buying two smaller tanks. I think that it would be cheaper to buy two smaller tanks. Um, I don't know. I didn't look it up. <laughs> but, um, if you really want to, I guess it would be okay if they were, um... If you like monitored them for like the first week and they seemed fine it would they would probably somewhat be fine but then something could always happen with food or water or really anything that will make them become aggressive um but it's just a risk when you do that because one could die and it's just not a risk that I would be willing to take because I'm overprotective. <laughs> but um, if you monitor them and you get like a pretty, like a at least a forty gallon tank for two, then it could probably work out. Um, and next is a uh, adult and a baby. An adult and a baby is a huge no because the adults will probably either beat up or eat the baby so that's definitely not something that you want to do and next is a baby and a baby most of the time a baby and a baby will work out because they're so small and afraid of everything that they probably won't want to fight each other because those will because they will be the only two that they can have trust with but even if they grow up together even if two males grow up together and they were in the same clutch or anything, you do not call it a clutch, do you? No, you don't. 
but if they were in like the same pair and they were even related it could probably still end badly um but if it's like a temporary setup for two babies it would probably work out okay sorry i had to go um i don't remember where i was but a baby and a baby would be okay for a temporary setup but then once they get to like in between baby and juvenile then you should probably have a tank by then and have them separated but this is probably the most debated thing with leopard geckos it's cohabbing so i thought i would just make a video on it um but that's really it if female and female okay male and male no male and female okay if you're gonna breed them and baby and baby okay until they grow up and then adult and baby no so jot those notes down <laughs> watch out for me but um that's all i have for today and i will see you on the next one bye